I'm in Wimborne and this is one of the old disused railway bridges we're going to investigate. It looks like it's been made into a footpath underneath. This railway became obsolete in the 1960s, 70s. There was a man called Beeching who was commissioned to make the railways lose less money so he shut lot down and now it's been turned into a nature thing but you see a lot of this stuff and it's sort of like make work and you wonder you know the men who built this so obviously they earned wages but an awful lot of money sort of just wasted all over the place all the time and you think that people could be becoming more who they are or something rather than all this sort of uh, waste of time expenditure. What do I mean becoming who they are? Well, you're born more or less a blank page and you gradually sort of become who you are. Um, if you've got an awful lot of duties that you have to do all the time and you're in harness to somebody else or society or whatever, that can stifle the sort of becoming who you are process. Um, I think you need a lot of time and space to become who you are. Um, I don't necessarily know whether you're destined to be a certain person or whether you sort of develop as time goes by your mind. There's a lot to explore. It's a little gold mine down here so I'm going to look on a map when I get home and plan some other videos um, so I quite often come to Wimborne so I'm really excited about finding this new nature walk there's an old tin tabernacle church there been converted into a house you know you wonder about the changes of society you know what the people who used to go to that would have been thinking it doesn't look English, it looks like it ought to be in New Zealand or somewhere. It's a really well made bridge. You know, ample room both sides of the road, path on each side, parapet wall, two and a half bricks thick. Um, really made to last. And yet the railway didn't last very long at all.